A condition called atrial fibrillation, that's where the heart falls into an abnormal rhythm. Well, it contributes to about 158,000 deaths every year in the U.S. In our HealthCast today, we're looking at a brand new approach, though, to treat this condition with a lot less risk. Let it go. Let it go. 32-year-old Jordan Malik is among a growing number of young Americans being diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, an irregular heartbeat that typically affects people over the age of 60. He was only 29 when it sent him to the emergency room, where he also learned he was in heart failure. So it was like everything just got real all of a sudden, you know? Dr. Yasser Rodriguez, an electrophysiologist with Cleveland Clinic Weston, says AFib is commonly treated with ablation. The procedure involves imaging with a fluoroscopy or x-rays that can expose other areas of the body to potentially harmful radiation. So on average, uh, with a traditional, you know, accepted approach, I mean, we're looking at like 43 minutes or north of x-ray exposure to the patient. So that's the equivalent of essentially if a person got received 150 chest x-rays in one sitting. Dr. Rodriguez says that can increase the risk of breast, lung, skin, and even bone marrow cancers, especially in younger patients like Jordan, who may need more ablations down the road. Dr. Rodriguez is now working with what he says is a safer, more effective way to perform cardiac ablations for AFib through a technique called zero fluoroscopy ablation. With the advent of this new technology, it's really allowed us to move away from x-ray. So it's really increased the safety profile of the procedure. It's become a lot more accessible. Um, and it also, um, traditionally this ablation was a two-day hospital stay, and now we do it same day outpatient. Post procedure, Jordan is now back in action at his local jujitsu studio. Overall, I feel pretty good. I'm able to do everything I want to do, which is great. Now, the prevalence of arrhythmias, things like this AFib, it's actually been tripled over the last 50 years or so, as many as six and up to about 16 million individuals will develop AF by the year 2050.